is a, quite a significant um, event for our parents and our young children coming into our program possibly for the first time and even just returning after a lovely long summer. Um, each of our schools will have lots of little steps in place for them to gradually come and feel that they're welcome and they're part of our early childhood program. The most important little tips is that parents need to be very involved with the early childhood section from the moment they've accepted um, uh, yeah, and registered their child with us. There's a lot of help that we have to offer them because we know that this transition is a real significant one. We need them to really come and form good relationships with us and there's been times on each of our campuses for parents to do this. There's times for parents to come on their own, there's time for parents to come with children and really get to know the teachers and the environment in which their children will be placed. Our teachers want to make a warm and welcoming environment for the parents and they want to support the parents through the process of eventually separating and the children being able to attend on their own. And for the youngest children, that's a big ask at this time of the year. So parents will be guided and supported on a daily basis until the children have successfully settled and formed really strong connections with the teachers that are in the classroom with their children. Um, that's, it, it's a case of relationships and trust for the parents, and that's what we're trying to build with them at this stage of the year. teachers really want, well, well they really want to understand and know the child. Every child is unique. So they, they really want to get to know the families and understand the child. And the families, the parents are the ones with that extensive knowledge of their child. Without knowing um, that background, the experience of the children, we really don't know the children at all. And that's not a good way for us to start. We need to know the families. So we need every support from them in helping us to get to know the children, to get to know their likes, their dislikes, and especially if neither languages of the school are the child's language. We need help if we need, we need to learn the basic survival words so that we can use the language of the home in a very minimal way, but enough to comfort and help and support the child as they grow and develop and start to listen to the languages of the school. So they need, we don't want these little children to be invisible, we want them to be, every child to be quite visible and every child's home, culture, language respected. So it's a huge part of the year when everyone is really um, very, very involved and very busy with the focus on the child and the success of having that child join our early childhood um, program quite successfully and start to feel that this is a great place to be.